The stage is set for the Battle of the Ravine to have many implications both inside the Great American Conference and beyond. Washita and Henderson State each did its part to make the game look big on paper. The Tigers won again last week over Monticello 35-7 and are 10-0 on the year. The Reddies held off Southern Arkansas 38-31 and sit at 9-1 right now. Washita has clinched at least a share of the regular season title. It's third straight. Henderson is looking for its first since 2015. The game has been selected as one of two Division II showcase games of the week. The 93rd meeting of these two schools comes with each team having won 43 times with six ties. It doesn't get any closer than that. Additionally, the final regional rankings before the football championship selection show have come out. Washita sits in the number three spot, Harding at number four, while Henderson State is currently at number seven. The top seven teams in each super region will make the Division II playoff. Washita is likely in, win or lose in this game. A ready win likely keeps Henderson State in the playoff picture, but a loss could open the door for another team to slip in. As always, a lot will be at stake with the Battle of the Ravine. It will be played this year at Cliff Harris Stadium on the east side of Highway 67. Four more teams clinched berths in the GAC postseason volleyball tournament this week. Northwestern, riding what is currently the longest winning streak in the league at five consecutive matches, jumped ahead of Southwestern in the standings and into second place. The Rangers defeated the Bulldogs 3-0 on Thursday to move into that number two spot. Oklahoma Baptist is just one game ahead of Northwestern with two remaining in the regular season. Those two teams meet on the final day of the season and a regular season title could be on the line. Southern Nazarene, Harding, and Henderson State also clinched spots in the postseason, while Arkansas Tech, Washita, and Monticello are competing for the final two berths. The tournament sites and times have been finalized for the women's and men's soccer championships. Southwestern secured the top seed following a scoreless tie with Oklahoma Baptist to close out the women's soccer league schedule. The Lady Dogs will host the four-team playoff in Weatherford this week, and the bracket looks like it did in Shawnee last year. Second-seeded Washita will meet third-seeded Oklahoma Baptist on Thursday at 11 a.m., and host Southwestern takes on fourth-seeded Harding at 2 p.m. The semifinal winners will play for an automatic bid to the NCAA tournament on Saturday at 11 a.m. League newcomer Fort Hayes State will host the men's bracket in Hayes, Kansas. The top-seeded Tigers will face fourth-seeded Harding at 3 p.m. on Friday, and number two seed Rogers State squares off against number three seed Northeastern State later that afternoon at 5.30 p.m. The championship will be on Sunday starting at 1 p.m. And East Central's Anna Mora will make her second consecutive trip to the NCAA Cross Country Division II National Championship. She finished fourth individually last weekend at the Central Regional. This has been the GAC Weekly. I'm Joey McWilliams. To see this and hear this and more about the GAC and other high school sports, please visit oklomasports.net and arkansasports.net, and please subscribe to this YouTube channel. God bless you, and have a great day.